Hi, my name is Pop. This video tutorial is about Unicenta Point of Sale, the cash register program, and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about sending messages to the kitchen. And this presupposes that you will be using this program in a restaurant setting, but you could also be using this to send messages anywhere along the line to another place in your business and not necessarily just a restaurant. But from this you'll be able to see how it works. You need to set this up in three steps. And the first thing you're going to go to configuration and here you'll see that there's printer 1, printer 2, and printer 3. And I do have a printer and it is set up on a local area network with a wireless router but for the purpose of this demonstration and goofing with the program I don't have a printer set up I've just got screen screen and screen but what you would do is tap this and it'll go right to your printer and then you can say whether or not you want to make that the receipt printer and presumably the receipt printer is going to be one of those little narrow paper roll things well, I'm done with that and I haven't really changed anything and I'm going to go to the next line. It's going to ask me if I want to uh, change this and I'm going to say no. No. I'm going to maintenance now and in maintenance you want to enable at the very, very bottom where it says ticket buttons. You want to enable the thing that says kitchen printer icon and you'll find it just gotta look for it. Refund, service charge, discount, server name, kitchen print. There it is. And it's already enabled. I already did that. I removed uh, left arrow exclamation point space dash dash space in front of this line. And in and in behind it I have removed dash dash right arrow. So it's already enabled and I've already got uh, an icon at the top and now we'll look at it and that's the icon right here for the life of me I do not know why icons don't have writing on them to explain them because I'm not a hieroglyphic sort of a person I like to look at the text of it and sometimes I don't even know what in the heck they are like this what the heck is that I have no idea you see what I'm saying so I think later on I'm going to go back in and and uh, alter the images to add text to them. The ones over here when you hover on them they've got text that pop up. The ones over here do not. Well I now want to show you something that you can do to send to the kitchen. So I'm gonna go order and I'm gonna order a burger. Wheat and veggie let's send it to the kitchen and when I tap on this order sent to kitchen okay let's go over to the printer and see it doesn't show here because I haven't made an invoice yet that's when the customer pays for his meal when he's finished eating this is what the kitchen gets a burger veggie wheat that's what I told them to do Let's do another one and I'll show you a different way of doing this. First I'm going to eliminate this order. Yes. Let's make another burger here. And I'm going to use attributes. Now this one popped up the attributes and I'm going to put all of them on there. Wheat, how cooked, rare, hot sauce, yes, jalapenos, yes, ketchup, yes, mayo, yes, mustard, yes, onions, yes, and pickles too. Okay, it's all in there, and they, as I showed in a prior video, they don't all show here. They're truncated. On the ticket, on the receipt, they go all the way to the end, and there's, and, but when they get cut off, that's it. There's no more room. I'm going to send this one to the kitchen. Now, let's take a look at that, and you might like this one better. And see, it does 
it does show wheat, rare, hot sauce, jalapenos, and then it truncates ketchup, and that's it. And I need to find out a way to make this show up. While we are on this topic, I want to show you a trick. This is interesting. First, let me get rid of this. Yes. Let's go to stock. Yes. And I want to go to product attribute use, and I'm going to show you a trick. And we're going to go to the bun and condiment thing. Now that's that's what I had pop up, right? Let me just temporarily go to hot sauce here. And I'm going to make it blank. I just got rid of hot sauce temporarily, but I just want to show you this. Let's go to sales. And let's go to burger again. Now watch this. This is kind of neat. Shazam! I've got a free form one in there now, you see. Wheat, how cooked, and I can type something in to the chef. Now, this program currently, presently, does not allow the use for a uh, regular keyboard. You have to do this uh, tapping. Uh, tap this three times to get a C, tap this twice to get an E, and so on. So I, I cannot uh, really demonstrate it rapidly. I would like to be able to have a regular keyboard. Uh, and then after you type something in, uh, oh, I don't know, mind your, mind your P's and Q's. Mind your P's and Q's. And jalapenos, yes. Mayo, yes. And then at the very bottom I'll say OK. And wheat, rare, mind your P's and Q's jalapenos and mayo send it to the kitchen order sent to the kitchen now let me show you a deficiency of the program in or I guess you could say it's a deficiency of the program uh, after I've sent it to the kitchen wheat rare peas and cues after you've sent it to the kitchen you can't really modify it anymore if the waiter comes back to you and he says oh hey I just talked to the guy at that table and the guy at the table wants to uh, add uh, onions. So you go down here and you put on onions. And you say, OK. Now I have added the onions down there. But see, when I hit nothing to send, you can't do it. It won't let you do it. Well, that is pretty much all I have for this video. This is Unicenta Point of Sale Cash Register Program, and this topic was Tickets to the Kitchen. My name is Pop, and I thank you very much.